Welcome to a bonus video of the Beehive Growth Tutorial Series. Uh, this is going to be an add-on to the subscri subscription event tracking video that uh, you may have just watched, but this is going to go over a couple things. One is going to be how we can ensure that we are scrubbing PII from our events uh, data so that we can ensure that uh, nobody is, that we can keep our Google Analytics profiles within compliance. And then the second part is going to be uh, measuring conversions through goal tracking. So the first part of this, uh, if you see here, we submitted a email through the publication. And so the active page that the user lands on now has this email equals the email address I put in. In Google Analytics, this is a, a big no-no. And if this happens like on, a, on any kind of large scale, um, Google may kind of disable your account, which nobody wants. So this has got a very fortunate, it's a very easy fix. We're gonna go into uh, the admin settings. We're gonna click over to view settings. And then we're gonna to go to exclude URL query parameters. And we're gonna just put in, type in email. So what that's gonna do is that when it gets hits from your website, it's going to ignore when it sees this email query parameter in the URL. And that brings your account into compliance. Everyone's happy. So that was easy enough. The second part of this video is going to be going over how we can set up goal tracking. So underneath conversions, there's a handy drop down where we can view goals. So goals can be key, uh, key site actions that you want to track. Um, if we have simple event tracking set up, you have to dig kind of deep into this events uh, menu to be able to see which events have fired. And of course, because we just set this up, there's not really going to be anything. There may be, no, it's only in the real time account, but it's kind of not super easy to see when it's buried deep within top events. So in order to set up a goal, which will surface these key site actions, we're going to click on admin, navigate over to goals, click new goal, and then we have this goal setup screen. So the first step is to click custom. We're gonna type user subscription or whatever you wanna call the goal name. We're gonna select event from the type. So now we're gonna type in the category and the action that we used on the other screen. So over here uh, within this event, this is the Google Tag Manager account that I made the event in. We can see that the action is subscribed and the category is conversion. So we're going to click conversion type in subscribe. Once that's done, if we click save, we now have a goal set up within Google Analytics. So this goal tab will start populating data so we can see over time, kind of at a glance, how many people are subscribing to our newsletter. And then underneath this source medium tab, we'll be able to see where they're actually coming from, whether it's Facebook posts, whether it's Twitter posts coming directly to the publication, what have you. Um, so these are kind of two bonus steps that you can add to the uh, previous video on setting up subscription event tracking uh, to just kind of make your Google Analytics account a little bit more robust. Thank you so much for your time and look forward to videos uh, in the future about setting up goal, uh, goal and event tracking for GA4. Uh, we're going to show you how to set up goal and event tracking for uh, things like Twitter tags, LinkedIn tags, and Facebook tags. Um, so plenty more to come so that we can help you get started optimizing your publication and getting more subscribers. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.